Hello and welcome to this edition of Eat Right with Rouses. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Tara Bond Home Care. I am glad you're joining us, however you are joining us, and we're always so very glad to welcome in our favorite dietitian, April Sins. Hello, April. Hello, Keith. How are you today? I am very well. Well, welcome to pumpkin time of year. It's really one of the best times of year, especially whenever you walk in the Rouses and you see all of this sea of orange pumpkins. Mm. And actually, there's all different colors of pumpkins nowadays. Right. And yeah, you can find all of your pumpkin needs at Rouses. So whether you are decorating, I love these to decorate the table Mm -hmm. with, or if you're baking some pumpkin pies and you need one of those baker pumpkins, or if you just want you just want something really cute and colorful like this one. Yeah. You can find it all at Rouse's. And one of the my favorite things about pumpkin is it, it's, very, it's very nutritious. It's mm-hmm. a source of vitamin A. In a half cup, you get 100% of the daily vitamin recommendations of vitamin A. Oh, wow. One of my favorite things to use uh, is the canned pumpkin. Now, okay. the reason why I like that is just because I like to be able to open the can and bake with it. Super simple. But if you like to cook from scratch and you like to uh, bake them yourself, maybe roast, there's uh, recipes on the Rouse's website where you can roast the wedges. You can also pull the seeds out and roast the, roast and season the seeds. So mm-hmm. there's so much you can do with the pumpkins this season. So definitely head to Rouse's and grab some pumpkins because they are super fun. We're going to be making some pumpkin muffins today. Ooh. One of my favorite baking items of the season these are actually perfect for like throughout the fall. They're good any time of year. Right. They just have that fall feel. So in right. the in the bowl right here, this is super simple. This is a from scratch recipe. Okay. If you're not big on, you know, if you like mixes and you want to, you don't like from scratch, this one's one of those easy ones that all you really have to go and grab is this canned pumpkin. <laughs> so I have my egg right here. What I've done is I've cut down the sugar a little bit. I'm going to be using something called Swerve that we have at Rouse's. Right. It's an erythritol sweetener. You can use regular sugar if you choose to. I like to cut down the sugar just a little bit. And then also we're going to be adding in some avocado oil. So what I'm going to be doing in this bowl right here is putting some um, wet ingredients. Now I'm going to mix this together just a second. And what I'm going to do is we're going to be using a half can of this pumpkin. Now, okay. whenever you're grabbing the pumpkin, make sure you're getting the pure pumpkin. You don't need the pumpkin pie filling. That is for oh, pumpkin pies. Right. So we're going to, yes. Yeah. So you want this one. And if you look at the ingredients, Keith, on this, it says pumpkin. It says ingredients. Pumpkin. That's pumpkin. it. That's, <laughs> that's it. it. Right. That's Can't all go that's wrong. in it. What's in it? Pumpkin. <laughs> so all you have to do is mix that pumpkin right in the here. It's just a half can. You can double the recipe if you want to. But this okay. makes about just under a dozen, I know it's kind of a weird amount, but wow. it makes about 10 or 11 okay. muffins. Yeah. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add in some of your dry ingredients. Okay. Now, what I like about this is baking at home and using your own mix. This is three-fourths of a cup of flour. You oh. can use a gluten-free flour if you want to. You can right. use an almond flour, whatever you want to use. Yeah. And kind, of just, like, kind of like the sugar substitute. You can substitute it's whatever It's kind of like, like that. You can okay. make it your own. And it comes out really, really good because that pumpkin flavor just brings out the flavors of everything else. Right. We're going to use just a little tad bit of vanilla okay. extract. And this is going to be some, um, if you're a baker, you know, you need your rising agent. So it's a little bit of baking soda, baking powder, and you need a little bit of salt to make that work. It's a okay. whole science experiment. To piece. activate it. <laughs> And then um, flax seed. So this is some ground flax seed. And, and I got this from Rouse's. What I like about flax seed is it kind of is a natural thickener to it. It does. Mm-hmm. It adds a little bit of a nutty flavor, but it is actually adds some omega three fatty acids to the recipe. Very. And healthy. then we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon in here. Mm. And this recipe is on Rouse's.com. And so you could just go to Rouse's.com. There, we can look under the recipe section okay. and you can search for tons of recipes. But if you type in pumpkin, you're going to get all the pumpkin recipes that we have on that site. So all you have to do from here is just grease these liners and then add in your, um, your pumpkin, your pumpkin muffin mix. Now just fill it up about a half, halfway. 
and you're going to set the oven at 400 degrees, and it only takes about 18 minutes oh to cook goodness. these muffins. And it's so Super easy. Quick. They come out so easy, too. It, they really do. They really do. Uh, and um, and I, I spoke too quick because I'm making a mess now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they come out so easy. No, no, but I mean, and, with the dry ingredients, it's just, it's just so easy with that combination. Even I could do that, April. I mean, my goodness. Oh, yeah. And it's I can't so bake. easy. A lot of people think baking from scratch is like, so like mind blowing. I have to like spend all day in the kitchen, but this is one of those recipes where it's very, very simple. It's very easy ingredients. A lot of them you probably have on hand just for, from general cooking. And then you can grab the, the canned pumpkin and then decorate your kitchen full of pumpkins. You're going to have all the pumpkin smells in the kitchen and you're going to have such a festive time. And this is a really good one. Uh, kid friendly, family friendly, and super like this comes out like, it's almost like a cake oh my or goodness. like a bread. It's so, yeah. so good. And that, that and so, pumpkin is so naturally, it's naturally sweet too. So you don't really need all of that sugar like you cut. Uh, and so yeah. what a terrific idea. Oh my goodness. All right. We're going to let you just keep getting us hungry as we're thinking about pumpkins and how easy that <laughs> is. And in, in five or six minutes, that's all ready to go in and 18 minutes in the oven. And you've got 10 wonderful pumpkin muffins. Uh, so very simple. We appreciate it very, very much. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Keith. All right. And that will do it for this particular segment of Eat Right with Rouse's. But don't go anywhere. A lot more local programming right here on HTV. HTV. 